Hello everyone and welcome back to your favourite mental health advice slash awareness slash travel channel. I hope everyone's doing splendid today. Now if you're new here make sure you subscribe because I just come out with great videos and you know you're, you're missing out if you don't so get on that. Now today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be acting like a model for a day. Yeah me. I'm going to be going around with my mate who is an avid photographer and we're gonna see if we can get some cool photos. Now you may be thinking, why are you doing this Josh? Are you being vain? Is this to boost your ego? Partly, yes. But secondly, there is a good reason and I will discuss this after the shoot because um, I'm running a bit late, funnily enough, you know? That's not like me. So I'm gonna go get ready because um, I actually don't know what I'm supposed to wear for a shoot. Is it a shoot? So I will see you very soon when I'm with my pal and um, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Here we are with my pal. He's got his little camera. Gonna go get some 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 photos. Yes. I would just like to say for the video that I am not in fact a natural in front of camera, and therefore if I look uncomfortable in these photos, it's because I am. And I feel like that's gonna be highlighted in this, but we'll see how it goes. Looks nice though, doesn't it? So does this guy right here. Que bonito! <laughs> oh, toilet break! <laughs> that is a little photo shoot one done on the rocks with the little scenic ocean in the background and uh, it was uh, an uncomfortable experience to say the least but you know that's part of the video isn't it overcoming the fears looks like such a traveler doesn't he what a traveling man So I just uh, asked Jack and Mole if my face looks weird in the photos and he replied with, my face always look weird. So, uh, good friend right here. How's it going? Very good. I like it. The golf. <laughs> Ooh, professional. <laughs> professional. Shut up, I'm <laughs> Look at the dedication. Look at the dedication. Really, he's just standing at normal people height right now. Oh, it's because he's short. Yep. And he's like uh, one. No, oh, carry on. <laughs> Eighteen. Yeah. And he's very wide. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have zoom. Like you can have 35, 50, 80. <laughs> <laughs> Great, now we have an audience for the photos. Ooh. Ooh. Re redo that one. Almost. This absolute melon just got me to lay down in this grass. Who does he think I am? <laughs> Looks so camp. Here's me thinking this would be a normal video walking around the city. It's turned into a whole hike. We're on a, we're on a cliff edge. What's going on? So that is the end of the recording for today because in case you can't tell, it started raining slightly. Jack and Mo's gonna take the photos, do a little bit of magic to them and uh, I'll see you in a few days when they're ready. Hello and welcome back to a couple of days later. I've got the photos ready here on my phone and let's have a look at them, shall we? Oi, no. That's looking like a model, come on. This is mad. I'm actually kind of speechless looking at this one, to be honest. <laughs> Mate, I'm well good looking. So you know what, this, this is a lovely photo, right? But why is my hair so clapped? What What is that? What is that? First of all, with this photo, I feel like I need to get trousers that fit me, because you can see pretty much half my calf in this one. But it's pretty wavy. <laughs> Pardon the pun. 
but with all the waves in the background and the white water. Oh man, I didn't, I didn't know I could look this wavy. Look at me, I'm so edgy, I'm so edgy. Ah, oh, it's just like the lighting and stuff just makes it look so sick. Like, don't get me wrong, it kind of helps that Sandandera is like a beautiful place, but just with the lighting and where it like focuses and everything, like, damn, I look sick. <laughs> I remember posing for this one. I was like, I was thinking of like the poses models do, right? And they always like crouch down and sort of like lean their hand between their legs. Uh, I thought I'd give that a go. There were people behind him as well for this photo, so it must have looked like such a melt. Oh my god. Oh, these are crazy, man. These are crazy. Look, look at me sitting in the grass trying to be all cool and thoughtful. It's just, it's just not me. Like, the way you can manipulate, like, the colours and the focus and everything just makes it look really wavy. Like, this was when it was starting to get, like, all murky and the weather was a bit dodgy and everything like that. And the fact that you can just manipulate the lighting and stuff like that to make it look cool, it's just crazy. So that is all the photos looked at, I guess. And now I just want to give a little bit of a life lesson at the end of the video. You know how I do. So at the start of this video, I kind of intended the message to be about how photos can be manipulated. You know, someone's life can look so much better in a photo, whereas the reality can be completely the opposite. For example, on social media, everyone tends to post the positive things and everyone perceives this as the reality of their life, whereas it's not the case. Photos can look so different from reality. You know, you can make a bog standard geezer like me look a little bit edgy and a little bit cool, whereas it may not be the case. I guess I also wanted to say be careful on social media because the reality of someone's life, as I said, can be completely the opposite. It's so easy to make everything look like sunshine and rainbows on social media, especially ones like Instagram. And this, is, this can be dangerous. A photo is literally one moment of a day. The rest of the day can be completely the opposite to that one moment, but you wouldn't know that because you're looking at it from social media. However, whilst filming this, I've kind of realized something. I've changed perspective. I've learned something new that I didn't really think about beforehand. And that's that taking photos is fun. Trying to look good is kind of fun. And when you see photos of yourself looking, you know, quite nice, you know, as nice as this can get, it's actually a really good feeling. I kind of used to judge people, I guess, for taking a lot of selfies, you know, really trying to look good for social media, but I kind of understand it a little bit more now. Don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna be going out hiking again just to get some cool photos, but I also kind of appreciate that people wanna look good, and whether it's on social media or just for themselves, I kind of understand it. Like, I'm gonna be honest, some of these photos are going on social media because I, I look cool, I wanna share that with people. You know, and it does feed my ego, it does boost my confidence, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it is important to be honest on life. And I think it's important to be realistic with the people who follow you because sometimes it can have a negative effect on their mental health. But I also think it's largely the responsibility of the person using social media to appreciate that this is not the reality of someone's life. Do what makes you happy. And if you're going on social media and feeling very negative about your life, then maybe don't use social media. But if taking nice photos, uploading them to social media, you know, looking at all those likes makes you feel happy, then just do it, I guess. I think we're all caught up in judging people for what makes them happy, and I'm responsible for this a lot of the time as well, I guess. And from this video, I've kind of got a new perspective that if taking selfies makes you happy, if going out hiking to get a cool photo shoot makes you happy, then just do it. Just do what makes you happy, trying to help other people be happy, and just, just get on with it. Who has time to be judging people, you know? Anyway, I think that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, it was a little bit of a different one, and it was quite fun to film, so let me know if you want to see more like this. You know, if you could leave a comment, that'd be great, because, you know, it helps the algorithm and whatnot. And yeah, I will see you very soon. Have a lovely day, and bye-bye. Uh,